And here it is, the Dodge Viper, with, you notice, old Carroll Shelby still riding shotgun there. What do you think? If this... If this doesn't excite you, then check your pulse because you aren't feeling too damn well this morning. It's been the hit of auto shows here, and, and it's made the cover of six magazines before we even showed it in Europe. These were European magazines. The roar you heard was a monster, eight liter, eight liter, <laughs> hard to say that, eight liter V10, about 400 horsepower, about 450 foot pounds of torque. And if the design takes you back to some of the classic roadsters of the past, well, that was the idea in the first place. Now, 50 people have been working on this night and day for over a year. I gave them a tight budget, and they've met it. I drove it last week. It was about 35 degrees. It was raining like hell, and there's no top on this baby yet. <laughs> but uh, the drive cinched it. They made me a believer. I don't want to kid you. It was raining hard, but this thing goes so fast, the rain never touched me. Just couldn't keep up with it. We'll, all, we'll let our Lamborghini operation cast the all-aluminum engine. But this car was conceived and designed and engineered right here in America, and it will be built right here in America. In fact, what you're looking at even before production starts, I think, is an American classic. We've already had, by the way, today's the official introduction with you guys. I guess you got that point. But we've already had over 3,300 3, people write in, call in, and send money. One guy, I got to find out who this guy is, Bob. He offered to buy the first 50 at 100,000 over a sticker, whatever it is. This guy's got to be nuts. Even the president, even the president of the German Ferrari Club wants to know how he gets on the list. He wants to order one immediately. But being honest, with the small production run we have planned, not everybody who wants one is going to be able to get one, unless they don't mind waiting in line for a little while. But let me tell you who's going to be first in line. Back in the 60s, Old Shelby there and I did something called the Cobra. Uh, Shelby took the first one we built. He took it off the line and he told me, you get number two. And I argued with him and said, I think it's a lousy car. I can't even at a light hold the clutch in. This is the lousiest clutch engine combination I've ever been in. So I passed and did not buy it. Shelby had sort of a priceless museum piece with number one. I got nothing. Uh, I think he's been offered six, seven million bucks for it. Well, I, the reason I'm telling you is I am not making the same mistake twice. <laughs> this one, this one right here is mine. I don't care what they do with the rest of them. So, Bob, come here, Bob Lutz. Uh, we don't want to over-dramatize this. There's the gear shift. Uh, go build the damn thing, will you? Well, you will. <laughs> yet for the Viper and how many do you plan to make first year? How many plan to sell? I was sell? afraid somebody was going to ask that. I don't want to be pinned down to this, but this car should be uh, with a big V10 in it. Under 50. 45, 41, 48, 49, 995. <laughs> Something like, I don't know. I really don't know. And as far as volume, we're going to start slow with a, a the first build is 200. Uh, the guys have done a fantastic job. The concept of this, they had a cross-functional team. The guys have their own little headquarters. They do everything right from design, the concept, right through the build. They'll start with 200. We hope to get to 5,000 a year. Um, I guess we could get to seven, Bob, eight, with a grunt. And, yeah. Yeah, bottlenecks, that usually means a hell of a lot more money. This was done on budget, you know, with very little money, com comparatively, multi-millions, but comparatively little money. So we've done a fantastic job. So I'd have to tell you that way. Uh, slow startup, but all done within three years of the design, the concept of the car before they even had a piece of clay, because it's launched January 1st, 1992, which is only 18 months to go, 19 months to go. So we've done a great job with it. We think it's a nice classic piece of equipment.